Yeah, like when I met um, Grandmaster Cass and he knew my shit, something new. It was like, oh shit, because Cass, Cold Crush, was like, them was like superheroes to me when I was younger, you know what I mean? So when I met him, he was like, yo, something new. Like, oh shit, this nigga know my shit? That's crazy. And now it's just regular, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, that's that's when that's made, that meant more to me than all the other shit, like regular fans and all that shit. That shit is cool, but but when somebody that you looked up to know your shit, that's a that's a whole different feeling. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that the big L joint because um it was finesse. Party all it was a whole bunch of rappers there, or MCs. Matter of fact, not not rappers, but MCs and shit. And it was like everybody wrote their shit on the spot. You know what I'm saying? We all in there with paper and pen. It's like I think it was like seven motherfuckers all together on a joint or something. It was a bunch of motherfuckers. We all sitting there writing and shit. It was like, yo, what he gonna do with me? Hear this shit. Oh shit, oh, I live. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm gonna fuck that. I'm gonna fuck that nigga up. You know what I'm saying? It was a competition, but it was it was it was a friendly competition. It was it was the vibe was was just good. You know what I'm saying? It was a good vibe. I always knew that shit. The funniest shit would probably be some shit with Biz, cause Biz is a funny motherfucker, yo. That nigga stay snapping on motherfuckers, man. He funny as hell. I, it's so much of shit. I couldn't even I couldn't even pinpoint one particular one, but. Trust me when I tell you that motherfucker how you rolling. Yeah, all the time, but not me. I I, I just laugh. If, even if I, if even if they snapping on me, the shit is funny. It's funny. I'm gonna laugh. I don't get, I don't get mad at that shit. But yeah, a lot of motherfuckers be wanting to fight. You hit you heat their ass up. <laughs> of course. <laughs> me me and motherfucking uh, Cool G Rap. We had a fucking uh, we had a fucking uh, a fucking contest and shit. And, you know what I'm saying? Well, I think we was in Virginia, some part of Virginia. I think he, um, I think he got like four bitches in the in a day. And I had like, I ain't gonna say, I ain't, I ain't gonna say how many I had, but yeah, I think, I think, I think, I think I won. <laughs> I think I won. Yeah, but um, a lot of a lot of little crazy shit happened, man. Niggas shooting up the fucking um, hotel. You know what I'm saying? Jealous niggas from the town. I think it was in Pittsburgh somewhere or something. And you know how after the show, the hotel lobby. You know what I'm saying? All the bitches. So we go, we upstairs and shit. Some, you know, the niggas want to come. We don't want to talk to you niggas. We here for the bitches. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, 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 let me spit something for you. Nah, man, get the fuck out of here. Nigga get, you know what I'm saying? Niggas don't want to hear that shit. Niggas got mad. They start shooting up the motherfucking hotel. We like, yo, shit, niggas is jetting into rooms. Shit is crazy. But nobody got shot. Shit, shit real. But nah, that, that other shit, that gang shit is different. You know what I'm saying? We wasn't on that shit. You know what I'm saying? When, when we had incidents like that, it, it's because, mostly because of bitches. You go to the next, you know, the next nigga town, fucking all they bitches. Niggas don't like that shit. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't that we was having beef with motherfuckers or it wasn't no gang shit. It was just over bitches. 